to welcome back this Mr. Hassan's Maths channel. I'm now answering question number five from the Pure Mathematics P1 International A Level at Excel June 2023 exam. Now, this question here is about uh, radian measure and a bit of trigonometry. And we're given this plan for a garden with this shape, which seems to be like a trapezium and a six of a circle kind of like stuck to it. We're given some of the measurements. They've told us a bit of information which is important, like OA is perpendicular to OD. Okay, um, OA is perpendicular to, sorry, OA and CD are both perpendicular to OD. So OA and CD are both perpendicular to OD. So we know that for sure that this is a right angle on this corner and this is a right angle on that corner. And that means that these two lines are also parallel to each other. Okay. And it says AB is the arc of a circle with center O and radius 4 meters. Okay. So that means OB is also the radius of the circle. So AB, OB will also be 4 meters. Okay. That's another thing we can deduce from that. BC is parallel to OD. Okay. So that makes this, as we suspected, a trapezium shape. And that also means that this angle here is also 90 degrees. And it says, show OD is 6 meters, which is shown. OA is 4 meters, which is shown. And CD is 1.5 meters, which is shown. It says, show the angle AOB. And angle AOB, which is this angle over here. Let's call this angle theta. Okay, let, let's say let. Angle AOB. Let, let's call it theta. Okay. Um, show that it's 1.186 radians to four significant figures. Okay, so that information now is on this diagram here. Okay, with a bit. Okay, so that that information. So let's get started on this question then. So it says here we've got to show that angle AOB is 1.186 radians to four significant figures. So we have all the information that we mentioned from above. This is parallel to that. Okay, and all this information is there. Now we want to find this angle theta now some students might think okay this angle theta is part of this sector and we know the radius of the sector but unfortunately we don't know the length of the arc so we cannot find this angle using the length of the arc okay um there is a formula for us to use that but we don't know the length of the arc we don't know theta so there's two unknowns so we cannot find it using the length of the arc formula so what we have to do is we've got to focus on this shape here we have this trapezium. Now we're trying to find the angle theta. Now in this trapezium, this angle here would help us find theta because I know these two add up to 90 degrees. Okay, and um, what I can see here is that this line here is perpendicular to BC and OD. So if I was to take this line here, make it a bit thinner. Okay, and I was, oops, I'll take the line and move it along until it reaches to B. Let's try and move it, come on, yep. Until it gets to B over there. Now that forms a little triangle, which is a right angle triangle, because that's a right angle there. And I can see that this line is parallel to this line because that's perpendicular, that's perpendicular, all right? So that means the angle theta here is the same as the angle here because they make this alternate, like a Z-shape kind of thing. So if I find this angle here, I find the angle I'm looking for. I could also find the angle here and just do 90 minus the angle or pi minus the angle in this case, but I think it's easy just to use that. So I'm going to just... Focus on this this right angle triangle that I just formed. Okay, and I'm going to think about this angle here as being theta. This side being 4 meters long and this side being 1.5 meters long. So I can find theta. This is um, using cosine. We can say the cosine of angle theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Remember, this is a right angle. So that's 1.5 over 4. So we can find what theta is. So make sure that we are in, in degree mode. Switch on the calculator. 
shift menu angle form angle unit to on di sorry in radian mode not degree mode radian mode so you say inverse cosine of 1.5 over 4 and that should give us our answer which is 1.186399 1 1.18 okay 1.18663 and it goes on like that so we can see to four decimal places so four four significant figures that's going to be one two three four it's going to be 1.1863 3, sorry I wrote that down wrong be careful six one point one eight six three nine nine three nine nine three nine nine so you can see here that's going to give you one point one eight six radians and there's the answer to part a of this question so we found the angle that we're looking for angle aob angle aob is 1.186 radians okay so that's that part sorted out part a all right so now for part b okay i've got this diagram that we drew earlier okay we know this angle theta is 1.186 radians now okay and we have to find the perimeter of the garden okay the perimeter of the garden is the length of its outline Okay, so the perimeter is the length of the outline, the length of all the lines that make its perimeter, basically. So if we start from A, we're going to have AO, that's, we know that length, plus, then we have O to D, plus D to C. Okay, all of those we have, but now we've got to find plus BC, and plus the arc AB, the length of the arc AB. All right. So the things that we know are AO, OD, DC. The things we don't know are BC and AB. As for BC, um, we can use this same right angle triangle here. Okay. And we know this angle is theta, which we found earlier. And we also, in fact, we can use Pythagoras. I know this is 1.5. So if we think about this little triangle here, I need to find this part from O to this point here. Let me just call this point, let's say, let's, let's call this point capital X. Okay, so this is O and this is B and this is X. Okay, so BC, we can say BC is equal to OD minus OX. BC equals OD minus OX, which is 6 minus OX. Okay, if I can find what OX is, find this length here, I can find what BC is. All right, so I know this is 1.5, I know this is 4, I know this is a right angle, so therefore I can use Pythagoras. I can say OX is equal to the square root of 4 squared minus 1.5 squared. Okay, that will give me what OX is. So therefore we can say OX is equal to so take out the calculator the square root of 4 squared minus 1.5 squared that gives us root 55 over 2 root 55 over 2 so therefore we can say that bc what i'm looking for is going to be 6 minus root 55 over 2 so that's bc all right we also need to know the length of the arc ab the length of the arc the, not the arc, the arc AB. Now, the length of the arc AB is found by the formula R times theta, where theta is measured in radians. If you remember from IGCSE, when you found the um, angle um, that is uh, subtended by an arc, we used, or the length of the arc, sorry, we used theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi R. Now, if we're measuring theta in, if theta is in radians, Okay, then we have to change this into radians as well, which is 2 pi. 360 degrees, if you remember, it's 2 pi radians. 2 pi cancel with 2 pi, so you're left with the length of arc is r theta. So that's how we can 
um, understand that when we use this formula, we must have the angle in radians. So the radius is 4, and the angle is 1.186 radians. Okay, so that will give us the length of the arc. Now what I can do here is I can use, um, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to store this. Store this as B. Okay, so I can use my angle from before. So I can say the perimeter, let me just put it all in one go. The perimeter is equal to AO, which is 4, plus OD, which is 6, plus DC, which is 1.5, plus BC, which is 6 minus root 55 over 2, plus the length of arc B, which is 4 times 1.186. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in this form, and then in the end, I will round my answer to 3SF. So I'm going to just put all of this in my calculator. So I'm going to have, um, okay, I'll do 4, I'll, I'll put this in my, I'll put plus, so I've got that, no, let's see, one second, okay. So I'm going to do um, 4 plus 6 plus 1.5 plus 6 minus the last answer plus 4 times got 1.186 and that gives us 18.535 which to 3SF is the perimeter is equal to 18.5 meters and there's the perimeter of this shape okay next we have to find the area and the area you've got two shapes you have shape one and you have shape two shape one is a sector of a circle shape two is a trapezium and we know the length of this this length is six minus root 55 over two that's the length of this line here so we can find the area of the trapezium by adding together the area of the arc uh, sorry of the of the sector and the area of the sector is given by a half r squared times theta because again it's based upon pi over 360 times pi r squared so this this becomes 2 pi the pi's cancel and you're left with pi over 2 times r squared so it's a half r squared theta okay and then we also have the area of the trapezium now, trapezium area is given by the length between the parallel sides, which is 1.5, because the parallel sides are going this way, 1.5 over 2 times the sum of the parallel sides, which is 6 plus this length here, which is 6 minus root 55 over 2. Okay, so that will give us the answer. So we have a half times the radius, which is 4 squared, times theta, which is 1.186 plus 1.5 over 2 times 12 minus root 55 over 2. Okay, so that should give us the area. That's the area of the sector plus the area of the trapezium. So let's stick that all in the calculator and hopefully we'll get the right answer. <clears throat> so we have 0 0.5 multiplied by 4 squared multiplied by 1.5. 186 plus we're going to have 1.5 over 2 multiplied by 12 take away root 55 over 2 okay let's see what that gives us does it give us the right answer? I hope so. Press equals. It gives us 71. What have I done here? Half r squared theta plus 1.5 over 2. I think there's something wrong here. That's supposed to be 1.5 over 2. Times, we've got to be careful, 12 minus root 55 over 2. Okay. That gives us 15.706. 15.706, so you've got to be very careful that you don't mess up, as I almost did there. Okay, in my calculator, I, put, I forgot the point. 
that changes your whole answer. So be careful. Okay, so be careful. Ch double check when you type things in your calculator. Uh, make sure you don't make a silly mistake like that. 3SF, 3SF, that's fine. And there we have the answers to this question. This is question number five. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this top corner over here. End of the video, you see a link there, a link at the bottom here. If you click on that, that will take you to other questions dealing with this topic of radian measure from P1 um, at Excel, um, international A-level. Other questions you want to find um, which are related to this topic of radian measure in general can find that in this playlist over there. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Okay, so there we have it. Answer to number five done. Thank you for watching and see you soon.